Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie and these are my book reviews for Night Views blog. So the book we're going to be talking about today is Frying Plantain by Zalika Reed Benda. This book was such a great book. Um, I finished it about, it, well it took me longer than I wanted to be honest, but in reality it took me about two days to read the book. Um, I even got to meet Zalika at a book club. She's a great girl. Um, it was great talking to her and hearing her perspectives of the book and stuff like that she was talking about. So the book Frying Plantain is not a novel, it's actually a collection of stories. So there's 11 different stories in the book that make up the whole entire book. And it follows the character of Kara Davis and it starts when she's about 10 years old and it finishes when she's about 18. Um, and it talks about her relationship. So the book is depicted in Toronto. So um, if you've never been to Toronto, you might not know understand some of the locations that she talks about but its depiction is of Eglinton West which is also little Jamaica and Kara is um her grandparents are Jamaican and I believe her mother was born in Jamaica but was raised in Toronto so it's a nuance of living a uh, life as a first generation or a second generation Jamaican Canadian girl going through life as a black girl in Toronto and it's I don't know about the year I don't think I remember her mentioning the year in the book but just honestly if you are a torontonian like me or grew up in toronto you'll get the book like from the location wise and the nuances you will definitely get it um the book is very it hits close to home when i read it very relatable the mannerisms in the book the language there's a lot of pata in the book so maybe if you don't understand jamaican pata you might find it a little bit difficult but regardless you'll understand what's really going on in the book so um, the book's main character is Kara, and a lot of the other characters are Kara's mother, Eloise, her grandmother, and her grandfather. And um, it, the journey, the book is more just like a coming to life, coming of life story, where Kara tackles a lot of problems, not necessarily problems, I guess problems in life, and also just like life in general, being a, a young black girl in a city. Um, she has friends who are not the best, but you can also tell are struggling with themselves and their own personal situations. Um, and she ends up growing out of them. Um, her boyfriend situation, her relationship with her mother, Eloise, which it tackles a lot about the family dynamics of Eloise and her mother and then Kara and her mother, Eloise. So because of um, the relationships, you can understand why Kara acts a certain way or why Eloise was so strict with her growing up. Um, Eloise had Kara when she was 18 so she didn't want the same thing for Kara when she got that age. She wanted better for Kara and um, Kara never knew who her father was and her mother refused to talk about it and then her relationship with her grandparents. She's very close to her grandfather but her grandparents relationship was ruined years ago but because of pride they were never divorced so they're still together even though her grandfather has another woman. So it's interesting to see, like there's a lot of pettiness that goes, goes on, especially between the grandparents' relationship. It's a really interesting relationship with her mother, Eloise. Um, but from that, you kind of understand why Eloise was, why, the way she was. Eloise's relationship with her own mother was kind of iffy. Um, I think it's because that Eloise had care at such a young age. So it kind of tarnished their relationship in a bit, but also Eloise witnessed her parents' relationship of her father cheating on her mother and her mother not doing anything about it so I think she felt her mother was kind of um, weak in that sense that she never really out of all things that was happening in her life she never addressed her marriage and um, Eloise wanted better for her mother and wants better for herself so she never chose to stick with a man who would ever do stuff like that. A lot of attention to detail for example um, when Kara and Boyfriend, the, the book, the story Boyfriend, where Kara talks about her boyfriend who lived in Mississauga but um, would travel to Toronto to come see T Kara at the Ian Center and how they go to the Burger King across the street from the Ian Center to talk um, or going to Silver City to go hang out with her boyfriend. That was the only time they were allowed by themselves, kind of a situation. So, like, the book is interesting. It's really relatable. I feel like as a young Toronto girl, this is a book you want to read. Like, I wouldn't say, it, I would give it like almost like this is a soldier in a sense to um, 
to Toronto. It's not as explicit as Sister Soja. Sister Soja's books, like Coldest Winter Ever, I read that in the seventh grade. I should have never read that at that age. Um, but it's kind of in a sense where like it's a relatable story for a young black girl in Toronto and where you're like, wow, I see myself in this book. And I, it's nice to finally read a book where you can kind of see yourself. If I was 12 or if I had a 12 year old, maybe 13, 14 year old, I would definitely recommend this book for her. It'd give her a sense of like, oh wow, I read something and I can maybe even discuss it with her after because there's a lot of topics you can discuss about it and how you feel about certain situations. But in all, I would give this book a 10 out of 10. Um, so like, I cannot wait until you release more stories. I know you said you're working on more books and more stories and more collections. So yeah, I'm really excited about this book. But make sure to like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what books you guys are reading or what books you guys wanna hear me um, talk about. I'm moving more from writing my book reviews to doing videos of them because I find that with the videos, I can get, get um, more done and can talk a lot about it more. And I like the interaction of this actually. So this should be interesting. Um, but yeah, make sure to check out my website, nightviews.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, nightviews, N-I-T-E-V-I-E-W-S underscore blog for both of those. And yeah, see you back next time.